Hi, VC. This is Serge, directly from New York. Oh, sorry, no, it's not New York. No, it's from Montreal. How are you? I wanted to uh, show you my Beatles collection, but uh, this time uh, fo focusing on uh, a little bit more on each of them, because these uh, Beatles album, I already showed them on uh, different videos. But I'm gonna show you uh, a little bit more now. Starting with this one. The Beatles live at the Star Club in Hamburg 1962. It's a double album. This album was made in 1977. I went to eBay to check uh, if it was still uh, available. And I find out, found out that uh, it's very pricey. This is uh, the original from 1977. If you check the back cover, it reminds me the back cover of the Morrison Hotel. The back cover of the, of the Morrison Hotel from the doors. It was in Germany that they took that picture. So it's on... Uh, Bella Phone Records. It's actu actually made in uh, Germany. So, like I said, it's a double LP. The sound it's not terrific, but uh, it's a live album. So, from 1962, I think it is. Yeah, 1962, Hamburg, Germany. So the sound is what you could expect. Uh, from that uh, era. There's another, uh, not a copy, but another, another version in the United States, and the, that one has uh, some tracks that are not on this uh, double LP. So if ever you come across the other album also, well, you could pick it up. It's on Pickwick Records. I actually have it. Next, we have the Beatles tapes, the Decca tapes. That's the tapes that they did before signing you know, with the EMI Parlophone. These other tracks. They put some on the anthology. Uh, there's a little story there. It's pretty good, because you don't you don't hear those uh, songs very often. Show you the, the label. This is on Passport Records. Uh, no, this is on uh, Circuit Records. That's for this one. Next, we have this one, number one, or uh, numero one, because it's a French album from uh, France. It says on it, on it, Les Beatles, instead of The Beatles. The back, it's uh, written in French. But it's, uh, it's quite the same album as Please Please Me. old pictures of them. This one is on the audio records. All these albums were uh, bought by myself. They were brand new in the mid 70s. This one is uh, with the Beatles. 
but a German copy. The same songs as uh, the with the Beatles from UK. But on uh, All My Loving, you get the, the extra symbols that you don't get on the UK version. It's on uh, Audio EMI again. Next we have The Beatles Greatest, another German copy. Greatest, uh, greatest Hits. It's all written in German. on the part of the podium. So. Next we have uh, the Beatles in Italy. Italy. Sounds like a live album but it, it's not a, a live album. It's a gatefold. They probably put the song that they did in their show over there, but it's uh, studio versions. At the beginning of uh, I Feel Fine, you can't hear, uh, you can hear some uh, talking before the the recording starts just a few seconds and it's uh, printed in Holland this one I like this picture. This picture. They were having a good time. This one on EMI. Next, we have the Beatles, the Beatles tapes with uh, David Wick. These are interviews with uh, each of the, the Beatles. From 69 until 73. They were interviewed individually. says during some of the interviews background sounds are audible so I don't know where they were when they took uh, these inter the interview these recordings there's a little booklet This one is made on Polydor Records. Uh, no one on Polydor label. Well. 
Next we have uh, the Beatles tucked down under. This is another uh, interview record. But this time it was uh, recorded in uh, Australia during their uh, 1964 tour over there. This album came out in AD1. It's a Canadian pressing. This one is on passport record. Next, it's not a Beatles album, but it's uh, the Beatles songbook from the Oliver Ridge strings. It's instrumental of their early songs. If you uh, ever heard the, the the album The Beatles. Uh, story. It's the music that they used on this record. You often see this album on the back cover of all other Beatles album when they are advertising their LPs. This one, it's on uh, Yellow Capital. I never saw any other uh, Yellow Capital. It's the first one. I don't know if it's only this record that has uh, that color. Tell me if you know. The next two al albums are bootleg albums. This is a... Uh, an album with uh, side E, it's uh, the, the Rolling Stones, it's uh, songs that never came out. Recorded in the studio. And side two, it's uh, even if it's a picture of uh, the Beatles with uh, Ed Sullivan, it's not, it's not from uh, the sh that show. It's uh, live recordings, but I don't know where the recordings were uh, took from. <coughs> There was no writing on the albums. Uh, I, I wrote this myself. It only says battle on it. And on the back cover it was a blank cover, so I uh, wrote the name of the bands. on battle records. And the last one, it's uh, another boot bootleg. It's uh, the Beatles Sweet Apple Tracks. It's the volume one. I don't have the volume two. It's a double album also, this one. That's the track. I think it's uh, it's taken from the Let It Be a recordings. Blank records. Blank cover, back cover also. There was nothing on the, the label, so I put some uh, number on it just to... Uh, not to mix them. Side two. Side three. And side four. So that's it for my rarest uh, Beatles album. I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to leave your comments. Subscribe. And see you next time. Bye. I think I'll go back to New York. Yeah.